Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Rachel Draper. I am an admissions counselor here at Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. I am joined here by one of our alumni. I'll let him introduce himself. Go ahead, Patsy. Hi everyone, my name is Patsy Castellino. I am a graduate from the Boston campus Doctor of Pharmacy program. I graduated in 2018. I'm originally from Connecticut uh, and now I work around the Boston area. I'm happy to be here to answer some questions for you. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, the first question I do want to start with is tell us about your current job and what you like about it. Sure. So currently I work at a pharmaceutical development company named Biogen. It's located in the Cambridge Mass area, um, which is right across the river from MCPHS. And I work as a regulatory manager. So um, in this space, regulatory affairs is kind of like the, the middle person between a company like Biogen and a health authority that regulates drug development. So in the US, that's the FDA, but there's also different health authorities around the world. So my role in my role, I kind of interface between the company and um, these health authorities. What would you say is your favorite part about your job right now? Yeah. Yeah, my favorite part, I think, is the ability to, to use some of the skills that I gained in pharmacy school. I think there's a lot of um, a lot of transferable skills, and a lot of it has to do with people. So just being able to work with various people from various different functions, different backgrounds. I don't just work with pharmacists all day. Um, I work with people from many walks of life, and, and I find that really enjoyable. Um, and that's definitely something that what well, was really beneficial from attending MCPHS in Boston. Um, and so that's definitely my favorite part. Obviously, kind of the, the next thing is bringing innovative therapies to patients, which is kind of the, the end goal of it all. But in my day to day, it's really the kind of the people that I get to work with. Awesome. That sounds like really exciting opportunities for it is, yeah. in pharmacy. Uh, what made you want to work in the healthcare field kind of way back when, when you were considering career options? Yeah, it's a great question. And, and thinking about that, that ends up being over 10 years ago. So over 10 years ago, when I was kind of when everyone was like picking what they wanted to do for for college, I wanted something where, you know, it, it would always be in need. So, so I wanted to be able to have job security. And what really drove me to healthcare was my sophomore year chemistry professor. His name was Mr. Kozlo. And he said that his son was a pharmacist and he worked three, three days a week, 12 hour days, and he made good money and he was able to kind of spend the rest of his time with his family. And so my very first desire to be in healthcare, to be in pharmacy was to be able to work three days a week, 12 hour shifts so that I could be a little league coach. Cause at the time that's what was important to me. So that, that kind of desire has evolved as time went on. Um, again, that was my sophomore year in high school, and I knew very early on I wanted to be in pharmacy. As I got closer to attending college, you really understand the impact that um, healthcare plays in people's lives. Um, anytime, anytime you deal with someone, either in your family or friends who go to, who have health conditions or are getting older in age, um, I think you really see the impact healthcare plays, and so I definitely want to be a part of that. Thank you so much for sharing that. I think it's more evident now than ever before how important healthcare is. So we're excited that you know, you're part of it and that students watching today will eventually be part of that as well. Can you talk a little bit about the impact that the MCPHS faculty have had on your success and how do you feel MCPHS prepared you for the career you're in now? Yeah, and I could, I could go on and on about the faculty and it's really incredible. Um, so within each program, there's kind of the first few years have those introductory style classes and those professors and teachers do a great job of building a strong foundation. And so I think a strong foundation is so important to progress in both school and career. Um, so I think those faculty do a great job of kind of taking someone who is coming right from high school or even transfer students who aren't used to the MCPHS curriculum and kind of building that foundation. And then when you get into each program, the, the professors usually have some sort of experience in that field. And so their, their perspective is just so invaluable. 
um, and coming from a school like MCPHS where the class numbers, class sizes are pretty manageable, it's very easy to approach these professors. So me personally, I've definitely had a lot of benefit from working with certain faculty um, and not just faculty, to be honest, a lot of it has to do with the staff at MCPHS, which I know wasn't your question, but my first job in pharmacy was because of the um, admissions office. So I was working for the admissions office as a, as a tour guide. Um, I believe they're still called brain cells. And so I would give tours and um, some one day four vice presidents of Rite Aid came in and asked for a tour. And the staff at MCPHS, the admissions office had said, Patsy, like you're in pharmacy, like, is this something that you'd be interested in? And so I was given that opportunity. And so it's just those like little moments like that, that mean so much. And then you also have like the residence life people. You also have the clubs and organizations on campus. All of these different things uh, really contribute to success. I, I think a lot of people kind of get caught up that academics is the only measure of success when you go to college, but it's really not. It's really kind of like who you become as a person. And I think that MC, MCPHS has a lot of well-rounded departments that are there to provide those opportunities to grow and develop as a person and also in the, in the career choice. So um, I, I definitely owe a lot. And I, and I definitely think that that's one of the highest values of going to MCPHS. I think your experience goes to show just how much of a community MCPHS is, not just with our students, our faculty, our staff, we are all committed to providing the best education possible and the best opportunities possible for our students as they embark on their healthcare journey. And you're just one example of how well that can work out. Um, yeah. And, and if I could just add to that, there. sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. Okay. I'm here because I, I still feel like a strong part of that community. I still feel like I wanna give back to the community and future students. And so um, I think that's totally accurate to say. And, and that's why I'm happily here kind of sharing my experience and hoping uh, future students can have a similar experience. Absolutely, we so appreciate you sharing your experience with these students. Um, during your time at MCPHS, what opportunities did the program that you did provide for hands-on experience? Sure, so again, as you progress into the program, there's more opportunities, because um, I think it would be hard to jump right in right from day one out of high school to be hands-on. So again, after you build that foundation, there was opportunities um, MCPHS has a, a community practice lab where pharmacy students such as myself would get to go in and um, almost do like simulations of what it would be like to work in a retail setting. And then there was also an institutional uh, um, lab that we took as well that kind of gave us that simulation for what, would be look, what, what it would be like to work in a hospital, which again, it, it wasn't something that um, I had exposure to. So that hands-on experience was something in, in help, helping me decide, is that something I want to pursue? I know other programs have similar labs or simulations um, on campus. And a lot of the times the students can actually benefit. So in terms of like the dental lab, um, I had gotten um, different radiographs done as well. So, so there's just a ton of different labs. I'm not as versed in what each what each school offers as far as labs, but um, there are plenty available. Awesome, thank you. I'm so glad you had that hands-on experience to help you with your career. How do you think the pharmacy department specifically supports students in exploring career options in the field of pharmacy outside the traditional retail pharmacy path? Yeah, so again, I think a lot of them bring perspective either their own experiences working in different facets of pharmacy. Um, there's also the experiential education department within the pharmacy department, I believe. Um, and so they're kind of responsible for handling our, um, we call them appies and ippies, which are like experiential education opportunities. Sometimes they're four weeks long, sometimes they're six weeks long. And so this is kind of like the real opportunity to see those different facets that you don't normally get or aren't part of the typical curriculum. Um, so again, I think it's, you have the people that you can go to to talk to, which was my favorite thing to do. I liked the human interaction. I liked hearing what other people had done and what their experiences were. But then there was also opportunities that if you wanna kind of blaze your own trail, um, 
that Office of Experiential Education made it possible or at least gave you a path to do that and explore it yourself. Awesome, yeah, pretty dynamic opportunities within pharmacy, which is exciting. Uh, can you talk more about the career opportunities there are in the pharmacy industry for um, non-PharmD professionals um, in your experience? Absolutely, and this is definitely something I've gained an appreciation for since graduating. So working for um, a drug development company, you really get to see the spectrum of um, backgrounds all the way from kind of preclinical studies, so studies done in animals to test safety, all the way through once a drug is approved and kind of what it takes to market that drug and keep it on the market and get it to patients. Um, so there's, I work with on a daily basis, people from all kinds of backgrounds. Um, I've worked with nurses before, I've worked with MDs, I've worked with neurologists, I've worked with people who have a research background um, farm, farm biz background. So um, there really is no limit to the type of experiences that you can get within drug development. I would say for those interested in research, all of drug development is centered around research. So it's such an important skill set to have. And it's not to say that you have to stick to the, to the lab, stick to the bench research, because you can take those skills and bring them in other roles. Um, and then the other thing that's great is that a lot of clinical experience is so valuable in drug development. So even if folks who could be in PA school, could be in the nursing program, if you have the clinical experience, if you've met with patients, if you understand that dynamic, it's all about perspective. And so those people, um, I think, have, a, have an easier time translating those skills into the pharmaceutical industry. So I would definitely say it's not limited to just farm D's. It's not like this is a, an exclusive club. It's just finding where you fit in the whole um, spectrum. Yeah, I think that's the exciting part about some of these programs that we do offer in pharmaceutical sciences, pharmaceutical business, pharmacology and toxicology. The sky's the limit, honestly, with a lot of these programs. And I think MCPHS does a really good job in providing an educational foundation met with opportunity to allow students to explore their options. Um, do you have any advice for incoming freshmen or transfer students to MCPHS? Yeah, and I could I could sit here and like think about a lot of different advices depending on what stage you're at and kind of what you're doing. My biggest thing, and I would say from a zoomed out lens is to incoming freshmen, just pay attention. When you, when you come to MCPHS, try and absorb as much as you can. There, there's always value or you need to find the value in something you're doing. It may not be the most exciting, it may not be the most fun, um, but there's always a lesson to be learned in what you're doing. That, that goes for academics, that goes for your housing situation. If you're, if you're living in one of the residence halls, um, be nice to your RA, that's another piece of advice. Um, and then just because I guess healthcare, as we have said before, is just so important to the overall impact of our community and society and even larger the world. So just pay attention to what's going on now, what the history has been and kind of see what you can do to further educating, further educating yourself and others on what um, healthcare is and who it serves and how we can better serve everyone uh, moving forward. And then I guess the transfer students, I get the sense that there may be apprehension with transfer students about uh, transferring to a new school. And so what I would say is kind of go back to what we mentioned about the MCPHS community. Um, just kind of let yourself be open to opportunities that the university offers. Try and get involved in the community because the community is gonna welcome you with open arms. Um, so don't be apprehensive about coming to MCPHS. Um, and I look forward to kind of meeting more people along the way as part of the MCPHS community. Thank you so much for sharing that advice. Uh, a question I have for you that um, I think I wanna kind of wrap up with is talking more about the greater landscape of big pharma in the city of Boston. You know, you work for Biogem and I'm sure you've had experiences maybe with other companies or you have a network of people who work at different big pharma companies. You know, when we talk about the healthcare in Boston, we're often talking about hospital studying, the clinical side of it, but big pharma is a huge industry within Boston. Can you speak to 
how it all kind of pieces together and, and your experience with the different companies that are located here. Yeah, I think there's like over 170 companies working within drug development in the Boston area. And so just that proximity um, is incredible. The amount of talented scientists that come to the city of Boston because of that, um, it's just unmatched. Um, when you think about technology, you think about Silicon Valley. When you think about New York, you probably think about more business. But when you think about Boston, I think you really think about healthcare and drug development. Um, so, and not only is there, there's these large pharmaceutical companies, there's also the kind of the smaller niche markets that um, are focused on one or two disease states. And so, again, I think there's a place for everyone. It's just a matter of what experience you're looking for and kind of um, what you can go from there. My office is located in Kendall Square. And I think from my office, if I were to throw a stone, I could probably hit 15 to 20 different other companies. So there's no shortage of opportunities. And again, just that proximity is so valuable. Um, and it was something I didn't really realize until I was late in the program and looking for these type of opportunities that I was really grateful that I was in a place where I could have those opportunities. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for spending the afternoon chatting with me about your experiences at MCPHS and beyond. We really appreciate your wanting to still be part of the MCPHS community as an alumnus. Um, but thank you everyone for tuning into this video. If you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to contact your admissions counselor. We hope to see you on campus this fall.